Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Let's head to the East region. UConn. Let's do that. UConn beats uh, Northwestern by, I believe the final score ended up being 17 points, right? 75 to 58. Um, Tristan Newton had 20 points, 10 assists. Donovan McClingan had 14 points, 14 rebounds, eight blocks. Jeff, can anybody in this region knock off UConn? Is there like, sure? Yeah, I mean, it, listen, it's it's not going to be San Diego State, but I think in the Elite Eight, you know, to me, Illinois would scare me. Illinois would scare me because you don't. You got what's the one thing that you're worried about if you're UConn? What's the one thing? Big wings, big wings who can get to the basket. They got two of them. They got two and a big, a stretch big, right? Like, I'm not saying they beat them, but I'm saying, like, that's not the type of team that if I'm Dan Hurley and UConn, I want to see. Terrence Shannon, like, good luck. Good luck, Steph Castle. Sh Shannon's not the one that I'm I'm worried about there. Like, he's going to kind of get his um, – no, he's going to get his. Like, Ter he's going to get his. He's going to go <laughs> Our for like producer, Trevor Valise, is absolutely mocking, no. mocking <laughs> Rob Doster right now. <laughs> Terrence Shannon is going to get his 30. It's like Zach Eady. You know he's going to get 25 and 14. So, like, he's going to get his. You try to make it as hard on him as you can. I think Steph Castle is the matchup you want besides an athleticism, right? Where where I get worried is people that can attack a four, right? It's Alex Caravan is the guy that you man, worry about. Man, you're digging deep, man. Yeah. Yeah, you have to dig deep. But, yeah, yeah go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, but er, out, that matchup with Alex Caravan, whoever he's guarding, that's what teams attack. I'm worried about them finding a way to get Klingon in foul trouble, right? Dane Danger can do that, right? You get Klingon in foul trouble. You force Samson Johnson to have to play 25 minutes. That's how you're able to beat him because you can beat him up on the play, uh, beat him up in the paint if that happens. I'm worried about, you mentioned Coleman Hawkins spacing out the floor. That's going to be difficult for them to deal with. And then it's Marcus Domask and any of the guards – when you have Cam Spencer and Tristan Newton guarding them, like they're they're just not great individual defenders. And what Illinois does, we talked about it last night. They try to isolate you. They try to play one on one. And I don't know they if that's simplify. necessarily the strength of the UConn defense. Now that said, Illinois is going to have to stop them too. Okay. Yep. And the one thing we've seen with Illinois is they're not the most connected team defensively. Yeah. And with all of the stuff that UConn runs, how many? How many contested shots would UConn get if those two teams played? I, I was going to say, I, don't, I think it's going to take a much better connected team to beat UConn. I, I think in the times of adversity, when Illinois gets punched in the mouth, which they will this weekend, whether it be first game or the next game, I, I don't think that they've been in a situation like that to respond and say we've been, you know, Tia, we've been here before. They, they can't say that yet. Yeah. So, UConn can, and um, I got to win in the whole thing. I love the way they look. I love the way they play. They play together. They play to win. I'm the same way. I'm not saying yeah. Illinois is going to win. Yeah. But no, I'm no, saying that matchup will be – It would be great. Could be really good. Uh, what do you think about Iowa State? Do you think they would have a chance? Because no. you're – I no. don't. I don't. No. I just think, again, like Iowa State, to me, doesn't have that high-end talent, those electric guards. Mm -hmm. I think you need some some dudes who can go make a play. That's not what Lipsy is. Yep. That's not what Milan like. They they just don't really have that. Like they're upside. I mean, again, they're going to make it tough for UConn. They're going to make it tough for him to score. But I think UConn has so much more talent. Yeah. You know, to me, Illinois UConn. That's the matchup I want to see. Yeah. I will say this though. I think it's going to be tougher for Illinois against Iowa State than people are expecting. Sure. No, I yeah. agree with that. Of how big and physical those That's going to be a great game. Like, great does, game. Does Illinois. Terrence Tre Shannon, Trevor Lipsy is going to Trevor's going to chime in on whatever I say here. But I hope he it, cackles does Illinois, <laughs> can they win a game when a team's going to try to do what Iowa State does to you? Where they get physical, they climb up in you, they don't let you go anywhere. They're going to push you, they're going to shove you, they're going to chuck cutters, they're going to throw elbows. They're going to, be, they're going to play me. Right? Can Illinois win a game that way? Yeah, especially if they're going to extend out their pressure. That's yeah. just opening up the floor more for Terrence Shannon. That, yeah. that That's kind of the thing that scares me more than anything. You're, you're playing right into his hands if you extend that pressure out to half court. 
because if you do that, you're just opening it up a runway because you can try to stay in front of him. Yeah, that's all well and good. I'm not sure many people can. Terrence Shannon's playing awesome right now. I'm not sure anybody can. Said, yeah, in college right. basketball, I don't think there's one guy who can slow down Terrence Shannon right now. Not one. Yeah. That's exactly like right. you do what you can to make it as hard as possible. Right. You just accept the fact he's going to get his 26, yeah. and you try to make it difficult for everyone else. Yeah. And I, I think also Illinois do they're due for some little a little regression. They've been playing a little too good. Mm-hmm. Just, just have. Yeah. They still, they still got that. Still got that old. They got that old Illinois in them. We just ain't seen it yet. <laughs> All right. Still in them. So I, I do want to. There's the quote. There's the the Bolton. Board material right now comes from John Henson to the Illini. Right they still, there. They still got that Illinois in them. Yep. They still got that um, Illinois. All right. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.